Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we'll be revisiting our Tiger Striped Elephant. And so far we've seen some very interesting features in the DAS 3D Bridge from importing models directly to a Photoshop layer, creating on-the-fly textures very quickly, and there's even more. So what we'll examine today is this feature called Import Scene to CS3X. This will allow us to work with our elephant model directly in Photoshop. So let's go do this now. Let's click Import and the Export Universal 3D dialog box will be displayed and let's examine what options this gives us. We have Resample Maps. This allows the image maps to be resampled to a size that you want to work with and change the maximum size value to increase or decrease the image map size. Export lights will export any lights in the scene and similarly the cameras. Okay, we'll just leave this at the defaults for now and click accept. Now let's move DAS Studio over so we can work with our import model. The first thing you'll probably notice is that our model was not imported at the same camera angle. And this is because the entire model was imported. Next, you'll notice right here on this layer we have a 3D cube. So let's double click on this layer and you'll notice that the layer is unlocked and our cursor has changed when we move it over the elephant. If you left click on the mouse and hold while dragging the cursor, you'll see that it actually rotates the model. This way we can find a better position for our image. Note that we still cannot modify the pose directly in Photoshop. For this we'd have to go back to DAS Studio and modify the pose there. But it will give us much more flexibility now to give us a better position and align our models. So this is a very powerful tool in this way. And when you're done and you like the positioning of your model, click the layer again and it'll ask you if you want to apply changes. Click apply and anytime you want to change this again, go back to the layer and double click and it will be unlocked again for your modifications. Just remember that this isn't your usual Photoshop layer, but it can be used with other layers. So if you create a new layer and drag it down, and you can use a background image um, paint in the background layer and changes will be applied as n normal in Photoshop. You may want to add a filter or another layer. We'll use render clouds and we'll change our blend mode to overlay. So you still have all your Photoshop tools to use and now you'll be able to manipulate your 3D layer right here which is connected through the bridge to DAS Studio. So you can still modify the pose of this elephant if you want to. You can modify the texture. And again, you can find the best position for the model inside your image. You can see how this tool becomes very powerful and it's almost a must-have tool for your um, imaging tool belt. And whether you're a developer creating a web design for your logos, or for map paintings, it's an unbelievably powerful tool. And now you don't need to spend so much time looking around for the best model. Now you can just go to the DAS Studio website and download the models that you like. And they have a vast selection of great models. And I've said before, you have to be very careful when you go to this website because it's very addictive. But I truly recommend it if you're trying to create. Um, it doesn't matter if you're creating for a hobby or as a professional. It's a very good website with excellent resources. And the very best part is that this 3D Bridge plugin is available for a 30-day free trial. And the DAS Studio is completely free. So go explore this tool and play around with it. We'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Don't forget to come and visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com where we'll be releasing even more tutorials and we'll have a special series on producing matte paintings by using DAS Studio. We hope to see you again soon and have fun creating!